in three, two, one. Yo, everyone, you're listening to Filmmaker Mike and the boys, or you're watching on YouTube. Thank you. I appreciate it. So today's a pretty big day, unexpectedly. No announcement whatsoever, which is kind of a nice surprise. So this morning, they, uh, they, and I mean Star Wars, Lucasfilm, announced at Entertainment Weekly the final print issue of Entertainment Weekly, which has now gone monthly within like the last few years, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, um, they used to publish a magazine, Entertainment Weekly, as it's in the name, every week. Then, it, then of course, they went monthly, which is now a little bit, the issue has been a little bit thicker. The final print cover before going all digital is none other than Obi-Wan Kenobi himself. So that was a nice surprise. And they also had um, sneak peek looks at Joel Edgerton as Uncle Owen, the return of Uncle Owen, and uh, fear some new Star Wars villain, some um, photos of a, an Inquisitor, one of the Inquisitors. So really exciting stuff. And then I figured, okay, uh, teaser trailer drop is imminent. We should be getting it soon. I did not expect it to drop <laughs> almost an hour ago. <laughs> so anyway, I've not watched anything yet. This is going to be my fresh hot take reaction to the brand new trailer for Obi-Wan Kenobi. So it says here on the caption for the teaser trailer, between darkness and defeat, hope survives. Beautiful. Watch the new teaser trailer for Obi-Wan Kenobi and start streaming the limited series May 25th on Disney+. Plus. So I've got my Bluetooth headphones hooked up to my phone, my iPhone. I'm going to watch the trailer right now. And this reaction you're going to see is fresh. I've not seen anything yet. So without further ado, here we go. Obi-Wan Kenobi, baby. Ooh. Tatooine. Oh, and that music. Oh man, beautiful. Eopi. Obi-Wan's using an Eopi. The fight is done. Oh man. Oh man. Yo. Oh, young Luke. Oh my God. Oh my God, Duel of the Fates. We got Battle of the Heroes and our Duel of the Fates. Bro. Oh, Sith Inquisitorship. Oh, my God. Duel of the Fates. Oh, my God. It's the Grand Inquisitor. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm getting chills, yo. I am getting straight up chills. Woo! Ah. Oh. Oh my goodness, bro! Oh my god, Grand Inquisitor with a double saber, fifth brother. Yo, oh my god, wow! Hope survives. Yo, yo. Oh my God. Wow. This is it. This is it. All the Star Wars shows that we've seen so far has been leading up to this. Wow. I got chills. I'm thrilled. I'm hyped. Let's go. Let's go. I knew this was going to happen. It was going <laughs> to get me excited to get my lightsaber that I built at Savi's workshop. Bro. And it's not switching on. This is a major fail. What, really? Oh, man. And my lightsaber's not working. What happened? Anyway, yo, yo, yo. That trailer. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my God. Holy moly. The Grand Inquisitor, Sith Inquisitors on the hunt for Jedi. Of course, hunting for Obi-Wan Kenobi or any, any Jedi. I wonder if we will see other surviving Jedi perhaps that survived or escaped Order 66. 
Either way, it looks fantastic already. This is a show that I'm sure not only I, but you and many others like us, Star Wars fans, are really hyped about. And this big conference uh, rematch with Vader, oh my God. A lot of people are bumping into that and how it'll collide with the canon or fit into the canon. I'm not bumping into it. I think they can make it work. Um, yeah, that looks fantastic. The Battle of the Heroes hint at the beginning and then Duel of the Fates. Perfect. Let's give it a round of applause. Applause. It's perfectly used. And the teaser trailer is like a minute and 40 plus. So beautiful. I'm hyped. May 25th cannot come soon enough. Um, and man, it just looks fantastic. And this is, I think we're getting six chapters, six episodes, six hours. I'm hoping we get at least an hour each, a solid hour, 60 minutes, 60 plus minutes, including the eight minute credits. <laughs> um, wow. Wow. Now we got something all to talk about until I, and I don't need to see anything else. I think that's it. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good with this teaser trailer. You don't have to make another trailer for me, for anyone. This is it. Just give, and then leave the rest to be a surprise. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. 110%. Um, it just looks fantastic. You and seeing you and McGregor back as Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh man, this is going to be absolutely great. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching, for listening. I appreciate uh, you spending time with me, watching my reaction or listening to my reaction. Uh, feel free to follow us on the podcast on Spotify, Filmmaker Mike and the Boys. Feel free to rate us and leave us a voice message. Let me know what you think of this teaser trailer for Obi-Wan Kenobi in the comments. Leave a voice message or comment below on YouTube and let me know what you think. Um, it's time to get hyped. And I sure hope we get an onslaught of awesome merchandise before the show hits for Obi-Wan Kenobi at, in the stores to get everyone excited and hyped to be a Jedi or a Sith Inquisitor again. So it'll be awesome. It'll be awesome. I cannot wait. Thank you for dropping this early enough, Disney, Lucasfilm. This is really exciting to see. So, and uh, we got something new to talk about uh, weeks after the Book of Boba Fett ended. So I'm happy. It's a great time to be a Star Wars fan whatever you say. I mean, we're still getting brand new Star Wars content. And man, this is definitely looking top shelf, top tier. Mwah! Chef's kiss, or should I say Dexter's, Dexter Jetster's chef's kiss. Dexter's kiss. <laughs> so anyway, thank you again for watching or listening. Um, yeah, take care out there and may the force be with you.